go to Erica. Um, I was just wondering about the unique challenges that one would face working in animation versus the challenges that one would work with, um, that one would face when working with real uh, human characters. Erica is so excited about Well, um, Erica, <laughs> I, I, do I look here? Go or? ahead, look straight okay. to Erica. Uh, I think that uh, the challenges are really mostly the same. You're still dealing with characters and you're still dealing with does the audience care about the characters and are they engaged in the story and um, are is the audience's emotions engaged um, do we care are we scared are we happy are we laughing are we crying um, so to me um, in all the important areas it's very much like live action I think that uh, it's different in that it's slower and um, a little more exacting and an animator has to stay an animator, too, tries to get in a moment, just like a live action actor, only they're in a moment for weeks. Mm. <laughs> so it's kind of like trying to catch lightning in the bottle one volt at a time, you know? <laughs> That's a great analogy. Yeah. Now, when you're looking to hire an animator, because we've got, you know, the show goes out to students, and like I said, The Simpsons is so incredibly popular. This movie, I'm sure, is going to be just as big of a hit when it comes out November 5th, November 5th, November Incredibles. 5th. <laughs> um, you know, what, what qualities do you look for when you're looking to hire an animator or to a graphic designer? If you can offer a piece of advice to some of our aspiring graphic designers and animators. Well, I think that there is a tendency now to uh, think computers are it and drawing is dead and all this stuff, and I couldn't disagree more. Mm -hmm. um, we have a tremendous number of artists who are capable of of drawing and expressing ideas with drawing and we use them and even when they move into computers the knowledge that they gain from those very elemental materials are um, really important so I would say draw um, we have some excellent animators who don't draw mm. but um, the other thing I would say is don't just look at animation look at all the arts and look outside of animation and I think that the way to keep the art form vital is to continually be bringing in new influences draw from your life from plays from books paintings uh, music draw bring the other arts into animation don't just keep feeding on animation we get people who only look at animation and I think that's a mistake